again, YouTubers and YouTube watchers. Back again for another episode of Film Trivia. So this is the last episode to do with our award season. So we've done Titanic, one of three films to win 11 Academy Awards, a recent Academy Award winner in Birdman, one of the best animated films to win an Academy Award in Beauty and the Beast, albeit, you know, for best song. It's going to happen. Disney always seems to pull that shit off. And we are going to end it all with an awards episode. So this one, this particular ceremony, always takes place the night before the Oscars. And it is known as the Golden Raspberry Awards. Number 10. The awards is normally referred to as the Razzie Awards. Number 9. The Golden Raspberry Awards was founded by John J.B. Wilson and Mo Murphy, with the first award ceremony taking place on March 31st, 1981. Number 8. The first Golden Raspberry Award ceremony was held in John J.B. Wilson's living room as an impromptu event after watching the 53rd Academy Awards ceremony. He was wearing a tacky tuxedo, standing in front of a cardboard podium and used a foam ball on a broomstick as a microphone. He awarded the first Golden Raspberry Award for Worst Picture to Can't Stop the Music. Number 7. Approximately three dozen people attended the first Golden Raspberry Award ceremony by the time the second Golden Raspberry Award ceremony came around, the number of people attending had doubled. At the third Golden Raspberry Award ceremony, that number had doubled again. Number six. At the fourth Golden Raspberry Award ceremony, John J.B. Wilson realised that by scheduling the award ceremony the night before the Academy Awards, it would receive more press coverage. He stated in an interview with BBC News that We finally figured out you couldn't compete with the Oscars on Oscar night, but if you went the night before, when the press from all over the world are here, and they are looking for something to do, it could well catch on. Number 5. Most nominees and winners don't attend the ceremony to collect their awards, but some have. These include Tom Green, Worst Actor, Worst Director, Freddie Got Fingered, Halle Berry, Worst Actress, Catwoman, Sandra Bullock, Worst Actress, All About Steve, Michael Ferris, Worst Screenplay, Catwoman, Paul Verhoeven, Worst Director, Showgirls. Number 4. Two people have won an Academy Award and a Golden Raspberry Award on the same weekend. They are Brian Helgeland, Best Screenplay for LA Confidential and Worst Screenplay for The Postman. Sandra Bullock, Best Actress for The Blind Side and Worst Actress for All About Steve. Number three. Over the years, there have been a number of special categories awarded at the Golden Raspberry Awards. These include Twister, Worst Written Film Grossing Over $100 Million, Con Air, Worst Reckless Disregard for Human Life and Public Property, Jackass the Movie, Most Flatulent Teen Targeted Movie, The Cat in the Hat, Worst excuse for an actual movie. All concept, no content. RV. Worst excuse for family entertainment. I know who killed me. Worst excuse for a horror movie. The Last Airbender. Worst eye gouging misuse of 3D. Number two. Over the course of the awards, there have been a number of records set by actors, actresses, directors 
and films for a number of nominations and wins. These are Worst Actor, Sylvester Stallone, 14 nominations, 4 wins. Worst Actress, Madonna, 6 nominations, 5 wins. Worst Director, Michael Bay, 5 nominations, 2 wins. Jack and Jill, 12 nominations, 10 wins. Number 1. Since the 35th Golden Raspberry Award ceremony, they have introduced the Razzie Redeemer Award, where a past Razzie Award winner or nominee has crossed into more appreciated works in film. The previous two winners of this prestigious award are Ben Affleck from Razzie winner for Gigli to Oscar Darling for Argo and Gone Girl. Sylvester Stallone, all-time Razzie champ with 29 nominations and 10 wins to 2015 Academy Award nominee for Creed. So that concludes this episode on the Golden Raspberry Awards and that also concludes our award season random film trivia style. So, with the Oscars so very close. Again, let me know what your predictions are, if you have any trivia on the Golden Raspberries or any award ceremony going, let me know in the comment section below. Give us a like, give us a share, subscribe to Directive 4 as always, and please come back soon for more random film trivia and other good stuff coming up on Directive 4. Have a lovely day, take care, and look after each other, and enjoy the Oscars, because it's going to be a good one this year, I feel. I think it's going to be a good one. Have fun. Take care.